Hi, my name is Ilma and welcome to my channel. I've been posting Christian blogs for almost uh, 11 years now. Today I'd like to share Psalm 81 verses 1 to 10. And here's the word of God. Sing aloud to God our strength. Shout for joy to the God of Jacob. Raise a song, sound a tambourine, the sweet lyre with a harp. Blow the trumpet at the new moon, at the full moon, on or our feast day. For it is a statute for Israel, a rule of the God of Jacob. He made it a decree in Joseph when he went out over the land of Egypt. I hear a language I had not known. I relieved your shoulder of the burden. Your hands were freed from the basket. In distress you called and I delivered you. I answered you in the secret place of thunder. I tested you at the waters of Meribah, Selah. Hear, O my people, while I admonish you, O Israel, if you would but listen to me. There shall be no strange God among you. You shall not bow down to a foreign God. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt. Open your mouth and I will fill it. Psalm 81, 1 to 10. And here's the poem I wrote inspired by this psalm. Sing aloud to God with joy. All you people of God, sing out loud to him and rejoice. Raise a song, clap your hands, sound a trumpet to praise him. Lord God had faithfully redeemed you out of your distress. He answered your prayers when you are desperate for help. When you call on him for relief, he was there for you. He provides for all your needs and is always gracious. He wants you to worship only him and no other gods, but you rebelled and made other idols. As a covenant people, you are to bow down to the Lord. Why have you turned your back on him and follow the world? The Lord God who made heaven and earth rebukes the lawless. His wrath will be unleashed to all those who are rebels. Reflection. In verse 4, it says that God commands his people to rejoice and sing aloud to him. Do we always do this as our hearts worship him? Can a Christian worship God when he is depressed? Why or why not? In verse 4, it says, For it is a statute for Israel, a rule of the God of Jacob. He made it a decree in Joseph when he went out over the land of Egypt. I hear a language I had not known. I relieved your sh So that's, sorry, I included verse 5. So what it says is that we are commanded to sing out loud with joy. So because when we, our hearts is there, we are going to show our emotions. We are going to show... Um, how joyful we are with our faith and our belief in the Lord. So, <clears throat> it is a command. So, if a Christian is worshiping God and he's depressed, how does that look like? Can you rejoice while you are so depressed and so anxious and so bogged down with so many things going on? Then you're not giving worship to the Lord because you're distracted. You're distracted by what's going on. You're distracted by your uncomfortability. You're distracted by your problems, your issues. So that is not the way to worship the Lord. This is why when we go to worship the Lord on Sunday, we leave everything behind. We become, you know, we let go of things that we used to. That's why we were given a day to rest so that we can that day is not for us to be pleasured that day is for us to rest and drop everything so that we can give all the glory and all our attention to our lord so i encourage you get into the habit of your christian get into the habit of singing out loud to god with joy even at home when you're when you're doing your devotion you're doing your time with the lord you pour out your heart because that is the way that God wants you to worship Him. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com 
for artworks, photographs, and a copy of this blog. Please subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I could make more videos for the Lord. Thanks for watching.